Okay, so you can see I've got the service warning light showing up on my Audi. Second little display. Okay, and now I'm going to use VCDS to clear the service indicator light. So first of all we go to select a control module and then instruments. Now first if we check there's any fault codes to make sure it's clear, it's good. And now we'll go to adaption. And we've got the list of adaption channels and service reminder. Now it's showing two, it normally shows zero or one, but it's showing two because I think the service is overdue on this one. Um, so we'll need to change this to uh, the one no zero value here. So put zero in. Okay, so now there we go. So zero is service not due and one is service due. So if we test the zero value and it's accepted that, so now we save it. And then we just confirm that that's the value we want to save. Okay, and that's the service done. But if we can just do a quick check, we can just read the value just to make sure. There you go, it is zero. Perfect. Let it done go back. And close control, let it done go back. And go back again to the main screen. And that's it. Service lights reset. So we can just check that now by switching the ignition on. The service warning's gone. Okay, some cars may not have the service reminder field for you just to reset from zero to one. So on those, we need to actually go in and reset some individual parameters to clear the service light. So I'll just take you through how to do that now. So if we go into the select, and now we choose instrument cluster again, and adaptation. So what we need to look for now is specific um, channels to actually go and reset and zero. So we're looking for anything sort of since service or since inspection. So the first one we have a look at is, there we go, if we take mileage since service, that's showing 134, which is 13,400 kilometers. So if we zero that, and test that value. Okay, and save that. Brilliant, okay. And I'll just do a quick read just to check that has zeroed. Brilliant, okay, and now we're on to the next one. So oh, go back to adaptation and we'll look for our next value. So what have we got here? So we've got time since service. Just the number of days, so it's showing 395 days since the service. So if we zero that and we test it and save, yes. Okay, let me just do a quick read just to check that has zeroed. Brilliant, okay. And now we'll choose the next one now. We've done service under inspection. So we're looking for uh, a distance since inspection. That's 13,400 kilometers, so let's zero that. Okay, test it. And save. Okay, and now we can just read that one just to check it has set to zero. Right, and now finally we're looking at uh, time since uh, inspection it's just fallen off the screen but it's just down there so we're going to set time since inspection to zero so zero days so if we test that and save that okay and that's just a quick read that's definitely zero perfect and that's it so that's the way to go in and manually reset all four parameters to clear the service light and then just drop back to the main screen and the service resets done. Thank you for watching and if we can help at all with VCDS products please contact us at gendam.co.uk